so many stupid social behaviors that people engage in are to control this one variable. How we feel when the people we really like don't like us back. This one variable don't like us back. So you want to be friends with that person. You really like them in the workplace. You want, you know, that you want to be in part of their gang, but they don't like you. This one variable, they don't like you. They will turn on the people they liked because it wasn't reciprocated. They get really angry and upset and they turn on them. This one variable because it wasn't reciprocated. Some people are absolutely crushed by it and they will do everything in their power to avoid ever having that in the first place. They'll never take the social risk, for example. So many stupid social behaviors that people engage in are to control this one variable. And when you're free from this, when what you feel for other people does not need to be reciprocated, it doesn't need to be. The freedom that that brings the individual is amazing. This is stuff from like junior school. It's not even high school stuff. It's little kiddie stuff. And yet on, on the internet, I watch fully grown adults who think they're mental health professionals engage in this behavior. It's all about a sense of controlling who likes me and who doesn't. Controlling and being in, in charge of that. When you allow other people the choice to believe in whatever political thing they want or religious thing they want. And we don't have a requirement for them to change the way they see the world and change the way they see themselves. We can just leave them alone and interact with them. The freedom that brings is immeasurable. What you feel for other people does not need to be reciprocated.